So it's October, it is spooky season, and for that I'm here to show you some scary mods, spooky mods, whatever you want to call it. Basically four mods that are going to make your game feel a little bit more daunting, make you think twice before going out at nighttime. Again, this is mainly to be in celebration of October and of course Halloween. I think if you install all of these mods and play them, the game is going to feel a little bit scarier. I've been using a number of these for a long time, and honestly it just improves the overall enjoyment I get from the game. It kind of adds in a spooky component without necessarily overhauling it to be only a horror game. Obviously, there's other options for that. So starting things off, we have what in my eyes is going to be one of the essential mods, and that's Darker Nights. What this mod is going to do is make it so nighttime in Fallout 4 is now going to be very dark, to the point where you actually can't see, even if you have the brightness turned up on your monitor, which to begin with is kind of cheap. But regardless, this is an essential mod. I imagine a lot of you guys use this already because it's a huge improvement on the game. It makes you have to kind of think about how you're going to be traversing the nights. Obviously, you can use that built-in Pip-Boy light, but everyone knows the Pip-Boy light and even some of the power armor lights only cover a small area around you and frankly with darker nights and maybe a higher difficulty setting it's not gonna cut it so you go in tandem with this mod i would highly recommend something like west tech tactical optics giving you night vision and thermal vision or even some of the other flashlight armor packs or flashlight gun mods that do exist in fallout 4 with all the different modded content we do have this mod is also extremely versatile you could change how dark you want it to be personally i like one of the middle to darker settings i think that's really going to enhance the spooky factor with these settings you won't be able to see enemies even if they're only a short distance away from you, unless you have some other kind of augmentation to help you see them. And even beyond that, it actually changes the detection. Let's say you're using night vision goggles, but your opponent is not. It's actually going to make you a lot harder to detect. If it's pitch black outside, it makes sense that they can't really detect you until you're pretty close to them, maybe even just from smelling them. There's also a ton of other options like 24-7 night and other things to make the game even spookier. But again, Darker Nights is a great framework and platform for you to really transform your game into something a bit scarier. we do have Pilgrim. This is an EMB, but honestly taking EMBs to the next level. First and foremost, this mod is going to have a huge visual component. It's going to make the game just look a little bit more dreadful and kind of have the same aesthetic as some of the horror films you're used to seeing. Hopefully that little intro bit kind of conveyed that part a bit better. You could really see the transformation that the game will go through. But even further, and my favorite part about this mod is actually its integration of different music and sound effects with the mod itself. Depending on the time of day and the weather that is going on, you could actually have different sounds or music playing in the background to kind of enhance that spookiness factor. This mod actually has its own darker nights built in, so if it's pitch black out, raining, you're going to have a nice spooky undertone music going on to really get you in the right mood, and that is a terrified one. This mod is really great in that regard. It really does a plethora of different things. First and foremost, you just have the visual overhauls. Then you have the weather components added in, and then to undertone all of that is that spooky music that really just, again, gets that mood right. It's it's the combination of all of this that I think really makes it an essential if you want to have a proper horror experience in Fallout 4. 
What's the scariest enemy you can encounter in Fallout 4? Well, in my eyes, it's going to be the ghouls. So we do have DK. What this is going to do is overhaul the visuals of ghouls in Fallout 4, making them look just much more rotten, like a zombie or something that has actually been undead for a long time. It's going to be a complete and pretty definitive transformation of the ghouls aesthetics. The gameplay mechanics of them are largely unchanged, but there's a lot of other mods that could add in more ghouls or just change the way they work, making them more like zombies, whatever floats your boat. After installing this mod and encountering your first group of ghouls, you're going to instantly tell they are a lot scarier looking. They just look more unpleasant and dreadful. They don't look like something you want to associate yourself with. The ones previously, although yes, still looking pretty goddamn ugly, didn't look quite as bad as these ones. The feral ghouls in this mod are going to look truly feral and like they were digging through the trash or something was eating their face away. So finally, with all these new mods in mind, you're going to need something to do, and with that, I do present you Vault 1080. Some of you guys may remember this mod, it was actually made by NVIDIA for Fallout 4 to kind of advertise their graphics cards. It's going to add in this castle and a quest inside of it. You're going to be able to explore it, it's going to have a lot of very dimly lit locations. In addition to the quest and location, it has its own lighting overhaul that's largely been overshined since its release, but still, the quest and location is the premier part here. Coupling this with DK as well as Pilgrim or darker nights depending which one you want to use will create a really scary experience i would highly recommend using a weapon mod that has one of those directional flashlights on it i think it's just going to complete this and again so often we have things in fallout 4 adding in new stuff but this is going to be a new experience take all these cool things that i did show you and actually use them here the quest itself is fairly short only adding in about an hour of gameplay but i would highly recommend playing this on a higher difficulty setting maybe something where you do more damage to enemies but they also do more damage to you it's going to make it so you really have to think about which turn you're going to take and be careful when a ghoul does run at you. So when a ghoul jumps at you, you have to actually be like, oh god, this thing can kill me in one to two hits and you have to be on your toes to kill him. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one though guys. As always, I thank you for watching. I just wanted to make kind of a seasonal or topical video, but with that, I hope to see you all next time. Later!